Puzzle time. No rush puzzle time. So as you know from now, I'll take as long as I need to take to try and find the answer to chess in these games. And I know a lot of people will go, oh, I would have seen that uh, dead easily. Um, it's not a case of me finding things fast or anything like that. I'm trying to break down each manoeuvre as best as possible to find the best answer. And hopefully maybe even challenge the puzzle itself. So I think a deeper understanding of the puzzles that they're presenting gives a deeper understanding to the answer to chess. If we find it quickly, we find it quickly, but we still want to go deep with it. Okay, so it's Black's turn. Find the best move for Black. The Knight's under attack. So you'd think obviously that's going to be moving, but that's not like a best move. It can take this Bishop, which is in our mantra, Knight's on the Bishop. So taking that, it's actually on two higher pieces. Only piece that really can take it is the Queen. So the Queen takes, so the Queen is in this area here. Now... The queen will be in that area and the bishop can come here because it's got support of the pawn. And behind the queen is the king. And there's nothing else that can actually support that. So it would actually win the queen. So from that, I believe it is that move. It's that simple. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to go with that. Oh, still carrying on. And we take. Excellent. All right. Continue training. Let's go in for another one. Find the best move for black. Okay, so now the queen is under attack. It does actually win a piece, but is it just even Stevens? It, it's up material. If it takes the bishop, because we've got one, two minor pieces, then they're going to be down a minor piece. If the queen takes, pawn takes, they're still down a minor piece. I suppose this pawn drops here, but the knight can move. So is it a material gain thing? Or is it tricking me and there's a checkmate pattern somewhere? I can't see it, but as we know, this bishop can go here. Does that do anything to the situation? Bishop goes there, say the king takes, doesn't have to take though. And then the bishop's just hanging there by itself. If it did take, then the queen could come here and put a check on. But it's not checkmate material, and we would have lost the kind of advantage, wouldn't we? On there, there, and the king just moves back. And I suppose the pawn can take the bishop. But then we've lost the bishop. So that don't make any sense, really. So I think it is just simply capturing the bishop here because we're going to be a minor piece up. I might be overthinking the situation. There's no checkmate things, is there? Definitely not. Because it can hit, but then it can just go there. Yeah, that'd be a waste, wouldn't it? So I think it's the queen taking this port bishop here. Yeah, and then simply capturing... Yeah, okay, straightforward. Shall we go for another one? We need to find one that's going to make us not pass. I think we've passed all the puzzles at the minute so far, which is really quite shocking. But we are practicing the answer to chess. We're breaking down these puzzles as best possible. Even though I don't like puzzles, I don't like bullets, you know, I don't like blitz. But we're trying to work the answer process in with those concepts that we don't like. Okay, so it's black to go again, all right? So you'd think pushing this pawn would be, would suffice, wouldn't you? Because if they push theirs, then the rook goes and puts a check on the king. I suppose it doesn't have to take, does it really? Help it. Yep, so, do, do, do. so we go up, he pushes down. We go for a check on his king, say his king moves out of the way so that we're losing tempo. We go and get queened. They get queened with a check. 
So we have to move the king out of the way. The queen can't put any checks on our king. The rook can't put any checks on our king. So it could take, it looks a bit clunky that though, doesn't it? Looks a bit clunky. Up. Down. Rook check. In the grand scheme of things, you'd think they would take, but I've seen games where they just go, well, I don't care, I'm getting my queen as well. So if he moves... Oh! Silly me. If he moves the king, then we'd just take the rook anyway and we'd be on the pawn. So even if it got promoted, we'd be able to take it. Silly me. Overthinking. Let's push. But he's not doing that anyway. So we can bring the rook here, put a check on. Well, potential check. Don't rush it though, because it's different to what we just saw. So if we go here, it's, it does slow down the process of this pawn getting promoted though, doesn't it? We go there, he pushes. Then we can take his rook with a check on his king. Oh, and then we're back to that situation again. There. And then our rook can come back and attack. So that's fine. Let's do that. Oh, he's doing something totally different again. But we can still do this with a check. Yes. Well, yeah, that was a confusing one. Excellent. And um, yeah, I think that should do, shouldn't it, really? Unless, of course, um, I'm being pushed into doing another one that really hurts my brain or something. I suppose I'm going to have to just push myself a little bit more. Let's just do one more. This is the last one. Find the best move for black. Best move for black. Instantly my brain's drawn there, but we can just go here and we're going to get a rook off the board as well. But we're in check at the minute. Which is a shame, isn't it? So does the queen come back? That looks really basic, doesn't it? Queen takes, knight takes, king takes the knight. So we're winning material. So it's a material gain thing, it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, because if we did move the king out of the way, he's just going to take our queen for free. That looks a little bit simple. Are we sure it's that? It is that, isn't it? It can't do anything else. It's not got any funky traps or anything. It's just simply taking the queen. Yeah. And don't rush into it, but then we're getting this knight here and we're up a minor piece. 